We just go around once a week and we look for overgrown properties and we mow them for free. Wow. I'm not that bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised if ain't a few more neighbors don't stop by. You you have a, a lawn service? I, I'm working on getting one together, but I don't actually have my own equipment right now. Oh, okay. You know? Please leave your message for three, four, seven, two, two, eight. You ain't getting me again. <laughs> So this homeowner lives out of state. Yes, lives in New York. And the property is not being maintained. I wonder why. A lot of these people I noticed that live in New York own property down here that they rent, rent it out. But I don't know. I don't know why they haven't rented it out or why it's not cleaned up. I well, would think that if you own a house, you, you want to make a profit off of it. You want to get somebody in it so to me it looks like this place has been vandalized and from my perspective what I'm seeing is that because of the state of this property it's creating a situation where unwanted behaviors are uh, being attracted to this property because of it being overgrown and there are people that are around here just on this street right here there's a house right here um, but when you look out over here, there's an entire community here, but this house is sitting on a corner lot. So I would assume that it's either someone's vandalizing it or it's possibly that there are squatters uh, that have come in and out and used the house. But I could see how it can kind of go under the radar because it's being like, it's overgrown. So um, I think it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and get it into a situation that wouldn't make it look appealing to- <laughs> <laughs> Squatters? To squatters or to, uh, uh, vandalizers that have obviously done some work here this stuff has been here for a while you see how tall this stuff is this grass silver springs grass <laughs> <laughs> and what are these what are those what are those these little things <laughs> those don't think these are cattails um did you walk through here i started one spot Ooh. we need to come over here and see if where the yard perimeter is. If it's this fenced in area here up to the front or if it's a little bit beyond. I think it's in the fenced in area. You come in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause that, that gate there would not have been big enough. Yeah, like these uh, ah. <laughs> these uh, properties that have uh, the, the fences on them that aren't wide enough, like maybe a push mower. Maybe we should have brought a push mower. <laughs> we have them. Just don't know. use them anymore. You know, and maybe uh, getting this cleaned up, people won't use it as a dumping site because it seems that there's trash around here that we're gonna have to pick up. Yeah. <laughs> Especially so close to these other houses here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what are we gonna do? Well, get it cleaned up. Get it cleaned up. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where's what well, I was asking where you wanted me to start the, in the back or in the front well I guess you can start with picking up the you trash is that what you mean yeah the pick up of the trash yeah uh, if you want to start with the picking up the trash then I will start with the sticks because there's sticks everywhere they, there are they are <laughs> everywhere here yeah yeah, so if you want to start with picking up that, get some gloves on, pick those up, and then I will start chopping and picking up sticks. Okay. Okay. All right.
backside look like uh, maybe squatters or somebody just vandalized. That's a long time for it to be empty. Figure somebody. They've been, like I said, they've been gone for some, like seven years. Yeah. Okay. He used to mow it all the time. He did it. But Probably looked nice then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I wish y'all the luck. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Yeah, you too. What happened? He said when I first walked up, uh, is someone actually doing something with this? <laughs> oh, like moving in or something yeah. like that? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, told him no, that somebody reached out to us and um, asked us to mow it. And then I told him that we usually go around once a week anyway and look for our own properties and mow for free. And this one just happened to be overgrown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, imagine though, someone wanting to sell this, like, as is. <laughs> Are you right? Yeah, you would have to really do some uh, fix and flipping. Fix and flip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there are either one squatters or either va vandalizers coming in, because you can't really see people like sneaking in and out, yeah. at least with it mowed down, it might deter that a little bit. Yeah. So uh, that's why this one here is like a for the community type of thing. That guy's part of the community. These houses out here are part of the community. So mm -hmm. um, the people out here, I mean, I mean, how many times can I say I mean?
a break? Yeah, there's so many dang sticks out there in that front yard. But it got me wore out. Haven't even mowed yet. All we done basically was pick up sticks. At least me. Pick up <laughs> sticks and pick up trash. <laughs> I've been picking up sticks too. And, uh, and weed eating. Yeah. Because there, I mean, there's a lot of sticks down over here. These trees. Now, what did you say? The guy said this has been empty. How long? He said seven years, but um, I spoke to these other people, and they said somebody was in this house recently, and um, there was electricity and everything here. So, I mean, I don't know if uh, somebody just went and got it the electricity turned on and was living here. I don't know. I mean, it could be anything. I have no idea. But considering the state that it's in right now, as far as the backside, if someone was recently here, they weren't taking care of it. Oh. But seven years before that, so this is someone that went walking by that said that someone was recently here. But the guy who lived right here, we can see his house from here, says that no one's been here for seven years. Yeah, well, that, that guy, I think they lived down this way because they came down this way and walked back and then went over that way. So two sides to every story. Yeah. <laughs> but he, um, he pretty much said the same thing the other guy said, that there was holes in the roof and the house is probably moldude. Moldude? Moldude. Moldude. <laughs> what was that word again? Moldude? <laughs> what does the moldude do? <laughs> <laughs> mildew. <laughs> mildew. <laughs> so, but no, about the holes on the roof. Did, did they say anything about getting them fixed or anything? I mean, I don't see any holes on the roof now. I didn't either, and I was going to go Unless up Unless it's not holes, it's just leaks. I, I mean, know. leaks are soft spots and holes and stuff like that. I know, and they, if, they, if it's soft up there, you won't be able to get up there to leak below it. I know, that's what I was thinking of actually going up and leak blowing it, but I mean, if, if it's soft like that. But I mean, I've been up on roofs and I know, like, stepping around where stuff is maybe soft and, yeah. and figuring out where the, uh, the, is it the joists or whatever, like, wh where the pieces of wood are. Yeah. <laughs> that are the structural barrier of that and usually if there is a leak it's probably somewhere in between or a spot that's been rotted if something's been sitting on it for a long period of time you know like seven years like leaves <laughs> leaves sticks branches that kind yeah. of thing he also said um he asked if i was a realtor he thought that i was taking pictures of the place <laughs> a realtor yeah and you're get up yep <laughs> <laughs> what seemed to be the main theme of their reasoning for stopping by? Because the yard was getting clean. They were surprised the yard was getting clean? Yes. The guy said, the first thing out his mouth is, you got your work cut out for you. It, it, I mean, it is a lot. It's a lot. There was a piece of a road over here. I didn't get that. A piece I, of the road? A piece of a, the road. Because if you look out here, a lot of the roads have been replaced. Yeah. So they had to pick up the old road. Oh, somebody just threw it in the yard. It was a chunk of road just next to the tree over here. Oh, wow. I mean, considering how much road probably had to come up to find only one piece is probably good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only one piece, I think. I don't know. Maybe the rest is buried underneath this mess. Never know. I'm hoping we don't run into anything back over here, though. I mean, I didn't see anything, but I didn't, you know, look over the whole yard. I, I, I mean, it's hard to. You can't really look over the whole. What are you supposed to do? Go in and split every piece of grass? I and, know. Like, we'd be here all day just looking through the yard if that was the case. <laughs> But I mean, uh, if it's anything big, you can get a general gist of what's going on. But out here, it just seemed like it was mostly trash that may have been thrown out of cars. That's what I said. Yeah? Over here, there's so much trash. I was like, people have to be throwing it out as they're going by. There was two ice cream dish things. Like, um, I don't know if it was from McDonald's or Dairy Queen, but it was 
the ice cream to the top. And it, the ice cream was still wet. So it had been recent. But somebody threw it out. Now, pet peeve of mine, this wasn't asked in the Q&A, &A. pet peeve of mine is uh, littering. Yeah. Throwing, like if you're driving in your car to throw things out the window. Pet yeah. peeve. Um, dating back to when I was in elementary school. Did I tell you this? <laughs> About like some kid, it was like... I think I was in like second or third grade and some kid had, had taken something and so they had lined up all the kids outside this classroom and we're trying to figure out which kid had taken it so we had to all empty our pockets. But when the teacher came to me, when I when I emptied and showed what was in my pockets, it was everything throughout the day, wrappers and things like that. And the teacher said, why do you have all this stuff in your pockets? And I said, because I haven't found a trash can yet to put it in. <laughs> And she was like, okay, that's good that you don't just, you know, throw it everywhere. Because I know, like, even then, the teacher would do something, like, at the end of the day, where we had to go around. Before we left, we had to pick up five pieces of, of anything that was on the ground. And it was usually stuff that kids had thrown or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so we had to do that. And um, I think that, in my mind, told me, like, this is not like that's not right to like just throw things on the ground so i'm going to put it in my pockets because i have pockets and i'll wait until i get to a trash can and then throw it away yeah and so uh, yeah uh littering no something stick with you i guess i guess so <laughs> i don't think this is grass gra i mean grass doesn't get this far Probably swamp grass. <laughs> swamp grass. You're in the swamp now. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. I think, what do you think? Do you think I should take a, a, a weed eater to this? I mean, I don't know if you want to try to go over it just to see if it will. But if well, it doesn't, then yeah, definitely have to use the weed eater. Well, see what will happen. I know if I go over it with this, that's gonna dull the blades out. Yeah. Yeah. At least the front's not as bad, so I can just mow right over that stuff. And chunks. Chunks of debris. On the yard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you ready? Yeah, we need to get this done before the rain does decide to roll in. I mean, it's everything. The rain, darkness. Yeah. Get your hopefully flashlight out. Too, hopefully it's not too late. We still got quite a bit to do. I know. Yeah, we need to get to it. Well, let's go.
I saw your video uh, when you were at that one house uh, off of what road new property on? Maybe. Uh, for a trail or something. For a trail or something like that. That guy came and he was started yelling. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Yeah. Y'all do so many. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to say hi. Hi. Y'all have a great day. Okay? Yeah, you too.
Now it's raining. Surprised we're able to get this out. You blew the, the... I didn't have the arms all the way open when I shut it, went to shut it off. Oh, it sounded like you blew the uh, zero turn up. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I noticed whenever, if you don't have the uh, arms open all the way and you go to turn it off, it'll backfire like a... Yeah, I think you blew both the zero turns up today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did the other one like I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Thank you all for staying tuned this long. Don't forget, like, subscribe, maybe even comment, as it's the best way to support the work that my mother Trish and myself, Casey, do here in our community. We'll see you next time. Bye.